So my camera, I, I ran out of space again and my camera just shut off. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, read. <clears throat> this is a good breaking point. I've done three passes already. So that will just cut down on the amount of time that we got on the video recording. What we have here in the central energy is we've got the moon. So we've got fear and illusion, somebody, fear and anxiety and an illusion. Somebody did not get the sudden wealth that they were expecting to get. They want to come and have a conversation. They're challenged because this high priestess is here. And she's wielding the sword of truth. She's high honor. And she is making the inseparable separable. She's like, you know, um, the inseparable unions. No, you don't get that. You're not going to take part in that. The wheel of fortune has turned. They're being disconnected from the star, from rejuvenation, from healing, from leeching and parasiting off of somebody. They did not get what they were expecting. They sabotaged themselves. They are a page of cups in the reverse. They're emotionally immature, irresponsible. They're disappointed. They, they have creative blocks, so they have no ability to be creative or to offer any um, fresh ideas or solutions to anything. They're in spiritual poverty and um, material poverty. They are in a nine of swords reversed. So they're in inner turmoil. They have deep seated fears. And they want to release their worry onto a love partner, onto somebody else. They want this star quality or somebody else that they can dump all their immature, irresponsible crap onto. They want somebody else to make it okay. And we've got this mature woman here. In the near future, we've got Seven of Cups. So there's wishful thinking, illusion, searching for purpose, and daydreaming about a journey. The lens that's being looked through, they're contemplating um, planning for the future. They wish to have a change or there is a change being made um these parasites can't latch on to a love partner and then dump their irresponsible um immature garbage onto them it's like no you have to be responsible for your own crap and then bring something to the table bring a creative idea at least man they're in a six of uh a six of wands reversed they did not gain a victory. They're confident. They have no confidence. See, they're emotionally immature. They're irresponsible. They bring disappointment and frustration. They have creative blocks. They have no creative solutions to any ideas. They're carrying deep-seated fears and secrets. And they want an inner turmoil. And they want to release all of that garbage, all of that spiritual poverty onto a star. But the high priestess says, no, <clears throat> you are unpopular. You're being discredited. You're not getting that love relationship. There's a change in this house. On the distant horizons, they're not getting the unexpected income. Or they very well may need a house. They may need a place to stay. The Hierophant is here. So you got the High Priestess and the Hierophant here. <clears throat> the Hierophant is right up next to this main female. And there, he's making sure that her great fortune isn't taken. No unexpected income, no great fortune. 
on the distant horizons. No victory for these um, parasites in the house. The outcome, we've got a ten of swords. So there's a painful ending for this person here, for this false person. They're in a sun energy reversed. They're feeling down and depressed and sad. They're arrogant and careless. And and um, the high priestess and the high priest is like, hey, you know, um, what do you got to offer? Where's your spiritual fortune? Where's the light? That light, I've oh, got to leave the light on. That song keeps running through my head. Got to leave the light on. So it's like their light isn't on. Their inner light isn't on. They haven't dealt with their shadow. They're just spewing it out onto whatever light source they can find. Irresponsibly. So let's read um, these right here on the bottoms of the deck so that I can catch you up to that. And because this is really interesting. We've got a nine of wands. So th this um, false person is in a nine of wands. They're not able to latch on to somebody. They're not able to use love as an escape route. They can't um, offload their shadowy bullshit onto a star. They can't force um, somebody who's already done the work to do their work for them and then put up with their immature bullshit for the rest of their life. They don't. So, and the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords is here and they are manifesting. Um, they're, they're exerting their willpower regarding these Two of Cups. So you've got the High Priestess and the Hierophant here wielding the Ace of Swords. And then you've got the King and the Queen of Swords here doing manifestations regarding these two of cups these two of cups these love situations won't be used for nefarious and secretive um bull crap they're being protected there are um so this child or those who are innocent i should say um are coming into a gift those, those folks who have done their shadow work, who have um, faced their traumas and their dramas and who have pulled out all the little snakes within their solar plexus and soul and looked at them and said, look here, you don't get to live here anymore. And that's what they did. And so they're coming into a gift and they're coming into a beautiful union. And these ones are getting a message of concern and they're in despair over these courtships. They're under adjudication and in bad health for what they did in a family room. A whole community of people. An official person is um, sending a message to this mature man. He's got a coffin coming to him for what he did to try to steal this pathway. Or to destroy this pathway. That's that mature man that belongs with this mature woman who's in poverty here. They're all up in their thoughts about what about what you got going on. You're clearing stuff out and they're like, they don't know what to do because it's like, you know, stuff went real well for them for a long time. And then here you are shining your light all over the place. And this high priestess and the and the hierophant and these king and queen of swords are like no entry. Okay, so it's too late to take any action. You're out of time. They're guilty, and they're and there's people gossiping about this. They want to escape. They're overwhelmed. Because these irreplaceable people are coming together. They don't get to let John and Parasite off of them. That They're actually coming together now. These people who have been tried, tested, and proven as true. And they've done the inner work to be able to rest in that. They're not just out here spewing garbage into the world. 
they're processing that garbage so that they have a gentler effect in the world and, am- and, and upon and among the people that they move around with. It's called having care for your environment, man. It's called uplifting your environment and you do your part to make sure that there are as little waves, ripples in your waters, you know? The more at peace the people in your environment are, the more at peace you will be. It's common sense, man. It's common sense. Unfortunately, not everybody wants to work uh, for that. They just want to do this emotionally immature, irresponsible thing of spewing it onto you and making you process it. And, and, and then claiming that um, they're entitled <clears throat> to that. fear again they got the moon here with fear and anxiety they didn't get the sudden wealth and we got fear again they want to have a conversation they want to call they want to call up and hear your voice didn't go well they have been separated from that which was inseparable the high priestess is here wielding the ace of swords she's high honor and she's like nope Sorry, Charlie. If your name's Charlie, I'm sorry. It was just, it's just a phrase from, I don't even know. Is that from the 70s or something? I haven't heard that one for a long time. And maybe it has something to do with sun-kissed tuna, you know, Charlie, the tuna fish. Sorry, Charlie. I don't know. Could be. Yeah, the, the high priestess is here. She's not allowing any adversity. She's like, all you got to bring is immaturity irresponsibility fear turmoil no no adversity into these love unions into this new cycle not gonna happen high priestess is not fooling around and she's got the hierophant here working with her So they're behaving unpredictably. Um, the the wheel of destiny of karma has turned. They've been disconnected from the star. They're in despair. They sabotaged the relationships that are for their highest good. They didn't get what they were expecting. I mean, if your relationship is for your highest good, why would you treat it so badly? If you want it to stick around, it just doesn't make any sense. They're blaming others for their own well-being. It's like, my life is shit and it's your fault. Why? It's because they're irresponsible. They were never taught. And they're full of pride. They're full of pride. They don't have anything to offer, and yet they're full of pride.
relationships are for the highest good of all. They're not to be parasited off of. So, relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Now, they want somebody to serve their higher good, but they just want to dump toxic, irresponsible bullshit onto them. They don't want to be with somebody so that they can improve their lives, so that they can be creative and then build on that foundation of union. No, they just want to use it as a garbage recycling unit. They have nothing of benefit to offer. Nothing. These relationships are for um, the higher good. The high priestess and the higher friend are here. The king of swords and the queen of swords are here. They're all wielding swords of truth. Humor. Humor. Looking at the lighter side of things. Choosing to see the lighter side of things. See, some people want to swim in their toxic, irresponsible, emotionally um, immature crap that's insecure, full of fear and all that. They don't ever want to reach for the lighter side, okay? They just want to dump that toxicity onto somebody else so that they can feel okay. But they never want to do the work. They never want to reach for the lighter side. They never want to process or learn how to um, transmute their own negativity, they don't want to sit with it. They want to dump it on you. You're a star. You can do that. And it's like, yeah, but the star is a star because the star has done the work. Why, should the, why shouldn't the star have a vacation, man? Why shouldn't the star be able to say, oh, I've done all this work. And yes, let me shine for a while and just rest. You know, why is that not possible that somebody who's done such a fantastic amount of work and is blinging for the whole world to see. Why is it they have to be covered in shit for eternity? That's just crap. That's all in their imagination. They thought they could just use people as a, as a garbage can. They're seen as unpopular. They're being discredited. They're losing recognition in the house. On the distant horizons, they're not going to receive unexpected income. They're in regret. The Hierophant is here with this main female, ensuring that her great fortune won't be molested. You know, in life, you may have been alone. You may have had to go through struggles and stuff alone in order to become the high priestess in order to become this star, you know? And it may have felt like you didn't have a mom who, she was too wrapped up in her own stuff to worry about you, really. And your father was absent. Maybe you had multiple dads coming and going, you know? And there was never really anybody to look out for you, to protect you, to watch over you. You had to deal with this immature, irresponsible crap your whole life. You had to be the adult and you had to manage yourself because the people around you weren't capable of managing themselves and they kept dumping stuff on you. So you had to just like deal with it. And it could have been your whole life you've been transmuting and processing bullshit for other people. And now the Hierophant and the High Priestess and the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords is here saying, no, no more. You're not doing that to this main female anymore. You false people, you're done. These relationships, these unions that are coming together will be for the higher good. For all, including the star. The star does not have to eat shit forever because you refuse to do your own work. This is a painful ending for them. They're being disconnected from the sun. They're being disconnected from love.
because of the way that they've been treating it. Loneliness. Loneliness. They're going to have to learn that they're never alone, even when they're alone. So you possess gifts of the soul that benefit you and others. You're successful. You know that there's no greater goal than to love. You're courageous. You have the inner strength to face fear with confidence. You honor the physical vessel that enshrines your soul, and you are in balance. These ones need to surrender their need to control you. They are under judgment. Have patience. Everything happens in divine order. They're worried and envious over your peace. They want forgiveness. You're coming into your purpose and they have to accept the things they cannot change. You persevered. And now they're in grief over your abundance and freedom. Collective energy, please, spirit. Collective energy. Collective energy, please, spirit. friend they want to call up and they want to pretend to be friends they didn't get the sudden wealth they're in an illusion they're in fear and anxiety the fear card is out here twice they're having premonitions they didn't they want to call you up they want to pretend to be friends they've been disconnected from that which is inseparable they've been disconnected from love because there's no love within them there's no love within them, so they are being disconnected from love. They can't bring adversity to love anymore. These unions will be high honor. And they will be fun. They will be fun. It's not going to be a shit processing factory for irresponsible, immature people who refuse to take re responsibility for their own life. They sabotage themselves and everything around them and then blame the world for sabotaging itself. It's strange to me. They're in sorrow. They're blaming you. They didn't get what they were expecting. They sabotaged this. They were disconnected from the star. They were disconnected from life, from healing, from spiritual fortune. They were disconnected. You know why? Because they don't have a spiritual fortune. They didn't do the work. They didn't generate a spiritual fortune. They're nothing more than a garbage heap. They can't process their own shit. And that's not being allowed in this new cycle. You can't, if you don't have a spiritual fortune within you, if you did not process your bullshit, your shadow, and bring your light online, then you're being disconnected. You have no love within you. There's no light within you. And that's the one thing that I remember from the Bible is like, you got to keep your light on. And that was like an instruction, like keep your light on. But these ones felt like they didn't have to keep their own light on, that they could just wear the light of others and that that was good enough. They're irresponsible. They have no creative ideas. They're spiritually in poverty. They're disconnected from intuition. They're, they're full of pride. Service. They may need a service or maybe they're used to being serviced. They have a bunch of inner turmoil, deep-seated fears. They want to release this worry onto a love partner. They're reaching out as a friend on the phone. 
It could be a mature woman. It could be somebody linked to her, a younger man. Wedding. Yeah. They're attracted to somebody because it could be that they're attracted to a mature woman. It could be that they're attracted to a mature woman um, who they feel is um, capable of taking care of me and all my crap. Mama, wash my diaper uh, and then wash my clothes. And if you don't do it, I'm going to wield my sword. You know, it's like, it's like. I'm so sick of these irresponsible, demanding, oversized children <laughs> with too much damn muscle. We got cheerfulness here. Yeah, cheerfulness and humor. So there's a reason to be um, happy. There's a journey happening here. There's a lot of opportunities here. Some folks may be stuck in an illusion. They may be daydreaming. Some folks may be um, having multiple choices in their plans for the future. They're dreaming about this change. We've got imagination here. So imagination, wishful thinking, Planning for the future. Change. Somebody's a widower. Somebody lost their somebody lost their wife and so they they need a house. They need somewhere to live. Because they're codependent and toxic. If they lost their wife, then that means um, they lost their their processing, their handler, their their processing unit. You know, so they're they need a new house. They need somewhere to live. They didn't win. They lost their wife. I don't know what kind of games they were playing against this star. This main female with the great fortune, but they're not touching the great fortune. This high priestess and this hierophant is like, you're going to keep your little paws off that. This main female has gone through the freaking ringer for so many people processing all their selfish needs. And they're here like no more, no more. You're not taking this unexpected income. You're not, you're no, there's going to be a change in this house. They want to go move in with her. They're in regret. They're an enemy. They didn't win. They didn't gain a victory over this house. They didn't get the unexpected income. They're not getting a wish come true. They're in regret. They're surprised. Hierophant's here with this main female. He's like, keep your paws off this light. You keep your paws off this light. Isn't it nice to know that somebody's sticking up for you now? It's like you got you got the Hierophant, the High Priestess, the King of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. They're all wielding swords, and they're right next to you. Denying these people contact with you. The thief does not get the fortune. The Hierophant is right here next to this main female and he's like, get out of here. You're being disconnected from love and painfully with this 10 of swords in your back and it's um, the sun reversed. You're disconnected from love. You're disconnected from the light. You are arrogant. You're a false person. You're irresponsible. You're emotionally immature. 
You're just, you're just, you're, you're spiritual poverty. You've done no work. The only thing you have to offer is pride and shit. And you expect people to process your shit for you, to offer you a service when you can't even service yourself. You can't even service yourself. Constant consistency. They're being, they're being disconnected from consistency. They're being disconnected from those people who process the garbage of this world, the, those light bearers, the 144 perhaps, those people who meditate, those people who take in the shitty um, energies of the world and they transmute that. They're the processors. And soon these stars are going to get a break. Pretty soon their constancy, their consistent efforts to clean up this world they're going to get a vacation. They don't have to eat shit forever. There's a message. These false people are receiving a message. And they're sad about a reunion. And a re reunion of love and a wife and a, with a Lord. Oh, look at that. The Lord is coming for his wife in love and reunion. The Lord is coming for his wife. But you be careful because there's also there's also a little turd out here who really wants to be the Lord. So and they're really good actor. OK, so you really have to use your discernment and pay attention to the energy. OK, mm -hmm. because this actor is very good with words, very good with actions, very good at pretending to be all that the Lord would be. And they have the energy of all those red heifers. So there's all that pure, innocent, powerful energy. So they're doing something with that. And I think that they're using that energy to like appear as though they're mighty, you know. But that energy won't be the same as the actual Lord. You really have to pay attention to the energetics here. And the methods of communication. Psychic, you know, you got these people who use words. They're always talking and they use repetition. They say the same crap over and over and over again. These are your like adversaries. And then you have your your team, your and they and they're they're not chaotic at all. At all in their messages. And it's usually they don't demand anything from you like these others they will they will instill fear be careful of what you say you know and they'll they'll um they'll say stuff like that to try to generate a fear and to control you and to it's a mental manipulation to um control your actions and your output in this world whereas the spiritual team is going to be supportive and um protective and they will be reminding in regards things like being patient, you know, it's much less intrusive and demanding than the dominator, you know, Lord wannabes. So you just have to be using your discretion. The commandment of the Lord isn't going to come off like a dominator um, destroyer, although the Lord will destroy and has been. that which is irresponsible immature and um without any kind of creator ability that which only spews frustration and poop into the world collective energy please spirit collective energy
You stars have processed so much. You're tired. But you're shining brighter than ever, which means your ability to process is increasing. And so it's becoming easier. Especially now that folks are getting disconnected and you are having to process less and less and less. Um, you have a, your load is being lightened. And folks are in fear because they can't dump their energetic crap onto you. It's not working like it once did. You're not in fear. And that was fated to be. Apparently, it was fated to be. Everybody knew it was coming. The inseparable, that which they thought they could never be separated from, they are being separated from by the high priestess here wielding this ace of swords she's high honor she's the lie these these relationships will be full of happiness there will be no adversity they will be high honor those who persevered through being dominated they will gain Friends, friends, it's time for friends, it's time for this network of um, star beings to have fun. It's time for celebration. Somebody's in sorrow, they're blaming you, they sabotage themselves, they didn't get what they were expecting, they got disconnected from this star at the turn of this wheel. They fell into a trap. Their pride demanded that you offer a service, but they are spiritually bereft and they are immature and irresponsible. They demanded that you serve them as some freaking Lord. And they spewed toxicity and fear, deep seated fear and secrets into the world. Poisoning love. They didn't get away with robbery. They're in poverty. There's a wedding here. They're really worried about these relationships that are going to serve the higher good. They're going through withdrawals. They're being rejected. There is cheerfulness here, humor. There's a journey coming up. We got some wishful thinking, some daydreaming, searching for purpose, bribery, temptation. Temptation. So those who um, were tempted by wishful thinking um, and took bribes to come against cheerfulness and happiness are going on a journey. Ready. You're making preparations for the future. You're making plans for the future. You're cheerful. You're happy. You're releasing this burden. It's being cut away from you. This widower is here. There's a widower here. Somebody um, needs a place to live. They lost their wife. They want to call you up and be friends. We got stop in the reverse. They weren't able to stop you. 
They weren't able to stop you. They lost their wife. It was all in their imagination. What is this? They're in regret. They didn't get the unexpected income or the wish fulfillment. This is a surprise. They need a place to live. They've been discredited. They're all full of ego. They're disappointed. You're having sweet dreams. Hierophants here with the main female. Great fortune in the reverse. This thief does not get the great fortune. High value. Hierophant sees this main female as high value. And he's telling this thief to bug off. He's like, you get out of here. You, you're not touching this high value um, person. They're being disconnected from love. They're being disconnected from the sun. These false, arrogant people. There's consistency here. So it could be that they've been consistently shitty. And, and that's why they're being disconnected. Because that's a pattern that they refuse to um, work with or change or remold or... They have no creative abilities, so they couldn't even... You got this... Let me see here. So you got this ten, painful ending. They're being disconnected from love. They're being disconnected from the sun. They're very arrogant and careless, this false person. But you've got a sweetheart here who is unconditional love and pure-hearted. And this is consistent. They're not just playing a role, you know, like for five years, I'm going to be a sweetheart and then I'm going to go psycho bitch for the next three, you know, I mean, no, there's this um, consistency. So, and if you've been old, if you're old and you can look into your life and you can say, yeah, I've kind of always had that response to this kind of a thing, you know, I mean, people like gods and goddesses and whatnot who have the ability to search Akashic mm -hmm. Records and all of that, they can look in there and they can see exactly what kind of experiences were done unto you and what kind of crap you had to process for irresponsible people throughout your cycles within this cycle. And you self-loved yourself. You're like, I love myself. You're like, I'm a consistently gonna love myself and you're a sweetheart. Somebody sees you as a potential mother. There's evidence of what has been happening against you, and they want to apologize. There's confessions. There's, um, they want forgiveness. You've reached your goals. There's omniscience. You have multiple talents. You have gained a lot of skill. Um, while processing um, toxicity for the world, you have gained a lot of skill, not only for yourself, but to help the environment. Like, some of you are in the middle of a metropolis, right? People are stabbing each other and shooting each other and hit, running each over with cars. And, and they're stealing from each other and they're angry with each other. And they want to go box somebody's ears, you know. So you got all, all this pent up, angry, irresponsible, emotional immaturity, just raging, right? And you're in the middle of that and you're an empath and it's like, oh my gosh. So you're, you're an, and you're a sender transmitter, right? You're a receiver transmitter. So you're picking up on all these thoughts. You're feeling all these energies and you have to understand that not all of this is yours. So you have to separate out what is yours and what is out there, what belongs out there. Like, what are you picking up on? So then once you do that, then you can say, okay, I'm going to center myself inside. I'm going to see that I am balanced and then I'm going to harmonize my environment. And that's just what you do. And you can do that through many different methods. You can dance, you can do Tai Chi, you can just work with the energy and the environment, and then you can envision it out, right? You can expand your vision into the neighborhood and work it. It's just a practice. You might call it a fantasy or an illusion. 
but it's far better to have some sort of self-love which has potential of clearing and, and um, harmonizing the environment rather than dumping a lot of emotional immaturity and toxicity into the world. I mean, you're working it. You're working it. You're visualizing. You're doing stuff, right? Other than blaming the world for your own sickness. That's because... You're intimately connected with the all that is. And whether you can articulate it or not, your spirit senses this. And it's beautiful because the Hierophant, the High Priestess, the King of Swords, the Queen of Swords is here wielding those swords, cutting out bullshit, making, making, um, yeah, it's good. All right, everybody. Hey, I'll see you on the next one, okay? Bye.